Today I'll be doing a purple smoky eye look. If you want to see this look, keep on watching. I already applied my foundation and I am breaking out like crazy. Come through. Clear skin. Come through. But it's been real bad. Um, so, yeah. And I also did my eyebrows already. So, let's continue. So first I started with my eyeshadow base and I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base. I'm not a huge fan, but I have it, so I'm using it right now. And I'm just applying this with the flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm applying it all the way to the top of my brow bone. So next with my translucent powder, and this one's from Rimmel. Stay mad, and I'm just setting my eyeshadow base. Um, I'm going to be using the Elf Smudge Pot, and this is the color Poppin' Party. And um, the thing to a smoky eye is that you want to put it below your crease line um, because you're gonna blend on your crease, on your crease, and above. So you want to make sure to grab a flat eyeshadow brush and. Just apply this all over your lid and it's such a bummer that you can't really see how beautiful this color is and it's a nice very um, gray purple but more purple and the camera's not really catching the true color of it but you just with a flat eyeshadow brush you just want to kind of outline where your crease is at and if um, you can if you don't have if you have a hooded um, eyelid you can just go a little below where your um, where your hooded eyelid meets and um, that way it doesn't transfer up and I'm just going to blend it with um, this bronzer color and you can grab like a color, color similar to this like a very bronzy brown color it has to be light because you want to you're gonna right now blend and you're just gonna um, slowly transition to give it some more depth and I'm putting this with a small fluffy brush and this one's by e.l.f. and it's not actually a fluffy brush, it's a, a contour brush. Um, but I'm putting this above that crease and with an angled eyeshadow brush from, I want to grab like a purple shimmery eyeshadow. And I'm using the ones from the Nudes um, palette from Maybelline. And I'm just applying that at the end part of the eye. You don't want it overboard and go all over. So I'm just going with that contour brush again and I'm just blending it up a little and with this brown taupey eyeshadow and this one's from the nudes Maybelline. Um, you just want to kind of go above where the like the intersection part and that's the only part you're going to add that color um, on the lid and just kind of smoke it out and just blend it. Blend, blend, blend. And I'm just blending this with the, this is the e.l.f. Uh, Flawless Concealer Brush, but I also use it as my fluffy brush. And, see again, I'm putting it on because I'm trying to show you the, the real color of it. Um, it's so beautiful, but this is, that's the trick to, you know, you kind of want to be very, take your time on it, because uh, it is kind of a dark color. Um, and then just with the white eyeshadow, and this one's from the Nudes um, Blush Palette. And I just applied that white eyeshadow in the inner teardrop and on my brow bone to make it like stand out even more. Next with the flat eyeshadow brush and this one is also from e.l.f. Um, and I'm just grabbing that brown taupey color and I'm just kind of smudging it to the midsection on the bottom of my eye and just kind of knead it with the end of the eye and just kind of just smoke it out a little. And I'm grabbing a gel eyeliner and this one from L'Oreal and I absolutely love this gel liner. It is so good. It's 10 bucks and it's super black and it goes on really nice. And the brush, it comes with the brush and it's amazing. So I'm just applying that on my bottom waterline and on my top. And I'm also going to tight line as well. And I will be doing videos on detail of every little step on um, makeup. So 
stay tuned for that. So, yeah, like I said, tie lining here. Um, I'm not going to put eyeliner on the top, um, like a wing eyeliner. So this is kind of my substitute substitution to it. And I'm just applying my mascara on my bottom and top. And you don't have to put the bottom. I, I'm so used to putting it on the bottom. Um, but you can put it on the top. Next, I'm apply two sets of eyesha eyeshadows, <laughs> eyelashes. One, I'm doing like a very natural, uh, thin, small, I guess you can call it. I forgot what it's called, um, and I will post it below. Um, lash, and then I'm doing the Ardell Demi Wispies on top of the small lashes. I don't know why, but it was very tricky for me to put on my lashes this time around. I think I'm just not used to double stacking, like putting two um, eyelashes on. So, but it wasn't that mm, crazy. Next, I'm gonna grab that gel liner again, and I'm just gonna kind of make it look like um, it's just all blended in, and more. It's gonna look a lot more natural. And this is my trick when I put lashes on, and I'm just dusting off all the way any. Um, fallout if I had like a fan brush and then I just kind of push up my eyelashes since they are two of them. Next I'm using the NYX Dark Circle Concealer and I'm using the that um, uh, that e.l.f. concealer brush. I'm blanking out right now sorry and then I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear um, concealer and I it, this is a very light um, concealer so that's why I put it on top of that and I have of uh, wrinkles on, on under my eyes so yeah so it was good to me it's not like it doesn't cake up or anything and I make sure to clean that brush before though I apply my concealer so that is the eye look very simple and with that bronzing color again that I used for the eyeshadow I'm just gonna kind of sculpt and give me give myself a slight contour not that much and um, yeah next I'm using the mauve kind of pinkish blush from elf it's the elf palette I'm using a lot of e.l.f. today. I just noticed that. <laughs> and I'm just trying to, it's super pigmented, it doesn't show on the camera, but I, it was really pigmented. I had to put like a double layer, that way you can kind of see more of the color. Um, but it, these blushes are really nice. And I gotta put my highlighter, you gotta, you gotta shine. So I, this one is a shimmering whip from e.l.f. Again, I know, e.l.f. Uh, but I absolutely love this highlighter and it's a liquid um, but I apply this one just with my finger I'm gonna put um, some lip balm and I'm using a Burt's Bee um, because I'm gonna use these soft matte lip creams and I absolutely love them I always put um, my lip balm before so it's not that drying um, I'm just putting a very nude color one because the eye is so intense and I didn't want to overpower, you know, be too much. Um, and I'm just putting that highlight on the top. So yeah, I'm keeping it very neutral on the lip because the eyes are what should be standing out more. And uh, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it and you give it a try. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.